Welcome to Integrative Medicine Perspective. I'm Dr. Wendy Liu. Nausea is a very common symptom among cancer patients. Uh, actually, it is one of the most feared symptoms in patients. Both cancer itself and its treatment can cause nausea. So I'm going to talk about some of the integrative medicine methods uh, to help with nausea symptom that can be done at home. I will group those methods into three areas, uh, prevention, treatment, and dietary considerations. Let's talk about prevention first. The key element of preventing treatment-induced uh, nausea is to improve pretreatment nutritional and physical uh, conditions. Improving nutritional condition mainly includes an individualized diet that is complete and balanced. So for the topic of uh, complete and balanced nutrition, I have made several videos previously. So I will put uh, the links to those videos below and I will not repeat uh, that content very much today. Uh, improving pretreatment of physical condition uh, mainly involves resistance exercises to help increase body muscle mass. Uh, research has shown an inverse relationship between body muscle mass and treatment-induced nausea and other complications. Uh, the higher the body muscle mass, uh, the lower the risk of developing treatment-induced nausea. We can view our body muscle mass as a quality nutritional reserve because um, our muscle is the major site, uh, storage site for glycogen, which is sugar, um, uh, a great uh, energy source. Muscle is also a major source for protein. Rehabilitation uh, is traditionally referring to measures to enhance recovery after a treatment or an illness. Um, but pre-treatment conditioning called prehab has gained a lot of attention recently. Prehab is just as important, if not more important, than rehabilitation. So many hospitals and clinics nowadays offer prehab programs. So that's about um, prevention of treatment-induced nausea. So what can we do when nausea symptom actually occurs? Uh, there are a couple of home remedies that we can try. One is ginger. Uh, ginger has been shown to reduce nausea uh, symptoms. So drinking warm ginger tea might be helpful uh, in reducing the symptom. Uh, another method is to massage the acupuncture point, nei uh, guan, also called pericardium 6, uh, abbreviated as PC6, by the WHO, the World Health Organization, acupuncture nomenclature. PC6 is located uh, between the two tendons, three fingers um, width, uh, roughly two inches, less than two inches away from the uh, wrist crease. So uh, massaging PC6 on both arms, one minute or so each side can help reduce nausea uh, symptom. In animal studies, stimulating PC6 uh, increased vagal nerve activities. Increasing vagal nerve activities might be the underlying mechanism uh, that PC6 can reduce a nausea symptom and promote relaxation. Of course, a much more comprehensive uh, acupuncture treatment for nausea and its related symptoms uh, requires a professional acupuncturist. Um, so now let's talk about dietary measures. So why do we need to talk about dietary measures for uh, nausea symptom? Because nausea might indicate a compromised digestive function. Um, so we needed to modify our dietary approaches to accommodate uh, the weak uh, digestive function. One of the considerations is to change uh, meal schedule. Our usual two to three meals a day might not be suitable for the weak digestive function. Uh, we may need to adopt uh, an approach of multiple small meals a day. Uh, small meals 
of course, are intended not to overwhelm the digestive system. And the increased uh, frequency is to compensate for uh, low calorie and low nutrient intake of each small meals. Uh, another consideration is food choice. We need to choose uh, foods that are easy to digest. Um, a general rule of thumb is low fat and low fiber. So from the carbohydrate standpoint, uh, the higher the fiber content, especially the higher the resistant fiber content, uh, the more difficult to digest. Uh, resistant fiber refers to those type of uh, fibers that are not able to or not easy to be digested by the gut bacteria. When the digestive system is weak, uh, white rice is more suitable than brown rice because brown rice is very high in uh, resistant fiber. But refined carbohydrates uh, like white rice are not very nutritious. Uh, so in this case, we can consider adding some of the carbohydrates that are nutritious and easy to digest, such as uh, potato, instant oatmeal, millet, um, soy milk, and tofu. Fresh fruits and vegetables, though very nutritious, are not easy to digest, but cooking can increase their digestibility. Uh, we can consider cooking as external uh, digestion. So we can use uh, the external digestion to help increase the internal digestive ability. Uh, so that's uh, the uh, carbohydrate um, choice. As for protein choice, eggs and milk, uh, including both cow and uh, goat milk and their uh, yogurt are very easy to digest and absorb. So when the digestive system is weak, uh, eggs and milk can be great uh, sources for protein. As for fat choices, uh, we talked about a low fat uh, diet. Um, there is another consideration. Um, polyunsaturated fats are much more easier to digest uh, than saturated and monounsaturated fat. So among cooking oil, um, Extra virgin olive oil is rich in polyunsaturated uh, fat, so it's relatively easier to digest. As for fatty food choices, fish fat is rich in polyunsaturated fat. But even uh, so, uh, we still need to choose low-fat fish, such as cod, flounder, or sole, uh, to help accommodate the weak digestive system. When it comes to uh, digestibility, milk fat, or, or I should say fat in milk, uh, is an exception. Uh, milk has 3 to 5% of fat, and most of it is uh, saturated fat, but it is very easy to digest because uh, fat in milk is packaged in tiny fat globules, and those globules are just a two to four micrometer uh, in size. So they're very easy to digest. Uh, the same milk fat, butter, on the other hand, is not easy to digest. Uh, generally speaking, uh, solid fat at room temperature is not easy to digest. Uh, so we talked about uh, some of the integrative medicine methods to help prevent and reduce nausea symptom and some of the dietary considerations for a weak digestive system. Of course, an individualized um, integrative medicine plan for lifestyle modifications needs further fine tuning according to that person's coexisting symptoms and uh, possible uh, physiological alterations. Whether uh, that person's nausea symptom is accompanied by abdominal pain, diarrhea, uh, or constipation, whether that person has had partial bowel resection or gallbladder surgery, um, make huge differences in lifestyle modifications. So discussing with one's physician to formulate uh, and individualize the plan is very much necessary. I hope this video gives people an idea how integrative medicine 
approaches lifestyle modifications、uh, based on a person's diagnosis, nutritional status,、uh, physical conditions, and、uh, treatment-related、uh, side effects. I hope to see your comments and questions, and I will see you next time.